this is your girl B Knight, and we're here at the beautiful Glen Hotel in downtown Atlanta with none other than the best female house DJ on the East Coast, DJ Heather B. And tonight we go behind the turntables and get into the mix because everyone knows girls are better on top. We've been through this transition here in the last 15 years, you know, it's like house music was on top and then something happened and hip hop took over and then electro came in and it, re it really it opened up a door for all of us females because it took it out of being a, a man's game into being a female's game. It'll be going on all summer long, maybe through the fall. It's me and just a, just Atlanta's best female DJs all coming together. And we're all actually co-promoting it. We got Angie Terrell, Rachel Pryor, wow. Susie Licious, this new chick that's coming up, Jessica Wade. And it's funny because Jessica, she's actually my age, but it took her a long time to get the start. So she's up and coming. And, uh, you know, Pablo Henderson, he, um, he, he, I don't know if he owns the Glen or how he's involved, right. but Pablo's been supporting me for like 15 years. So he called me up and told me he had this idea, and I was like, let's run, let's run, let's run. So what was your first major break into uh, DJing? Well, a couple of heartbreaks, and then I got this this job when I was 19 um, at a strip club in town. I will not name names. <laughs> but um, Andre Perry was actually playing, and I grew up on a dairy farm in Tennessee, and I didn't know what house music was, I didn't know what rap was, I didn't know what hip hop was. And uh, when I came here to Atlanta, I started working this job, it was my second night, and I heard Andre Perry, and I was like, let me look, look let's think up there in the booth. <laughs> and I got up there, and I saw what he was doing, and it's like a light went off. I was like, this is what I was born to do. I was born to make people dance. Have you seen anything drastically change over I have. Like you what? know, I've seen, you know, I don't, I don't really spend too much hip hop, but I have to say this: hip hop changed the game in A Town. It did, and it, it changed did. it for the better. Like now, when somebody calls me up, they're like, "Oh, you know, what style of music do you play?" And I'm like, "Well, my style is house, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I still mix like a house DJ, but I can play anything. And if it wasn't for hip hop in Atlanta, then." I wouldn't be where I am today because now I can go from playing at 124 BPM, drop it down to 80 BPM. And now there's this new thing coming up. Some people have known about, maybe some of you guys out there have heard about it. It's called dubstep. Mm -hmm. It's really tricky. It's like three, four time. It's not, you know, all house music and hip hop's four, four time or two, four time. It's a little bit tricky and stuff, but now with production and stuff, now it's like because of hip hop, we can now merge house music, radio, rock, hip hop, dub, and it's. It's just been a blessing. God bless Outkast. Thank you for <laughs> yes, coming to A-Town. Thank, thank you, Outkast. So, is there anything that you're working on right now, currently, like, mixtape-wise or demo-wise? Are you working with any artists? Let me give you the, like, lowdown of the lowdown. Okay. So, um... I got a friend of mine from about 12 years ago pop back in my life, and his name is Chris Peters, and he started this little company called Abstract Delirium. He pulled me on. We're still in the works of it, but what we're basically going to do is we're going to manage other artists and on a global level. I also just got picked up by uh, CJ's, which is a global company. They do global yes. bookings. They haven't booked me yet. CJ's, what's up? <laughs> um, and then um, TKRP, who is Tyro Tan upgrade, yes. who I know you know. Yes, he's a friend of mine. <laughs> that guy came into my life and shined like a star, and it's really just given me the backing that I need. And with with Ty's uh, label skills and Abstract Delirium's. Um, management <laughs> skills. Um, I think that uh, I'm going places. 